He asked about the jovial lamp. Uh, I know you wanted to do a demo, but what he asks is, um, is the wide spectrum red infrared light you use, uh, you and Brian use, is it the jovial lamp? I know that Brian, you have one. I was thinking about um, getting one. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you afterwards, I'll, uh, uh, I will get a jovial. I do have what we've been talking about in our course is the sauna space. It used to be called photon light. Um, it's a, you know, a big red bulb. The jovial lamp is different and we're going to talk about it and talk about what it does, but it's good to have, you know, a sort of shielded lamp that brings back certain natural frequencies that are missing inside the environment right now. So if you see me here, so that's the difference. And that's with the red lamp. So you can see the glow here on my face. This adds a lot of infrared frequencies and red light inside my environment because they're blocked from the window, especially from, I think it's especially the low E um, windows you talked about, Brian, but many different types of modern windows will try to prevent heat from coming into the home for you know, ener energetic uh, reason, not energetic, but, you know, green, the green movement reasons. Uh, but it comes with a price because inside now we don't have the beneficial frequencies uh, the way that we've had that in, in the past. So with the Jovial Lamp, uh, Brian, can you talk about that product a little bit? Um, this is something that you've created as one of the first products at uh, the shielded, uh, the shielding shop. Um, and um, so please uh, let me know, you know, how or let everyone know uh, how it works and I'll spotlight you. Uh, I'll just remove myself here so you can be full screen and then uh, let you go with it. Okay, cool. So jovial lamp, I'm going to, I've got one right here. And so I'm just going to test the spectrum so you guys can see the spectrum of it. And you can see like, it's basically an incandescent or halogen lamp. It's got a peak, you know, you can see a little slight bump up in the frequency range here. Um, and then on my spectrometer, you can see the dominant wavelength is 588 nanometers. So that's right in the yellow spectrum. And that's on average about what you're getting from the sun visually. The hue of the sun is about 588 nanometers at, for a bulk of the day around, around that. That's kind of the midsection. That's why when we tinted the bulb, we tinted it this gold color. And you can see the little halogen light inside of there. So that's why we call it the Goldie Lux bulb because we've got gold tint in there with the halogen. So it makes it so that we have the proper hue that your brain needs to perceive that it's daytime. And it also gives, gives it at that wavelength, at that uh, peak wavelength that your brain is perceiving through your eyes, it's giving you uh, stimulation with different type of color therapy that helps with productivity and joy and happiness. That's why we call it the jovial lamp because it actually makes you more jovial, more happy um, with that particular hue that your eyes are perceiving. Now, in addition to that, you've got all the infrared wavelengths reintroduced. Now, this meter measures from 380 to 950 nanometers. This meter measures the field strength from 1000 to 1700 nanometers. So it kind of continues on where the colorful meter leaves off. So if I go over here and I put this to toward the lamp, you can see it's over over 200 to 67 that I saw, but it's still a little bit difficult to tell. Yeah. Let me just see, read it here. I'll, I'll do a hold. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm getting as much as 500, 510, 530 right here, 400, 300. It just so kind of depends on how close you are to the bulb. And, but like at my distance here, I went up to 1800 for a second, but we're getting a lot of these frequencies and you go out in, in, in mid sunlight, you're going to get like around 400 to 500 in direct sunlight uh, of these 1000 to 1700 uh, nanometer wavelengths. So we're really replacing a lot of what you would normally 
not be getting inside. So if I turn this off here, I'm going to put this on constant multi-test so you can see kind of what I'm getting in, in here when I'm testing continuously. And then you can also see this meter, what I'm getting, if I turn it on again, consistently with the light spectrum. Now, if I turn this off, you can see I'm just wow. getting LED up here. And then I'm, I'm not getting anything from this perspective. Zero. Uh, no infrared. It's a high, bl high blue light spectrum and it's pretty constant, right? And the other thing is it's flickering like crazy. I don't know if we can see that. There we go. But as soon as I turn this on, let's see if I can get the screen to see it. Ah. Yeah, it's difficult. I had it showing right there. There, you can, it does reduce the flicker quite a bit actually, when you, when you have it kind of facing your, your eyes or whatever. So I don't know if you can actually Yeah, see. we don't see the meter very well. So is there a way to quantify flicker? Is it the flicker rate? Is it the, like, what are the different measurements for flicker that you would look at on that meter? So I'm looking at the, the blink percentage and the fluctuation depth. And typically we want it on this meter to be there. That's better. You want it to be within that one rectangle fluctuation depth. So that, so I'm within that range when I'm, when I have this light on, when I don't have the light on, I'm well out of that range. It's a, uh, oh gosh, that's what I've got. Like, Huge fluctuation depth. Like so what I see is that with the lamp on, it was within one rectangle, and now I see one, two, three, four, five rectangle, and that's the depth of flicker. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of people will be asking, in, including Sharon Harmon that is there in the comment, what is this flicker, flicker meter? People want to get it after these demos. What is it? Yeah, so this is my spectrometer, the Hopu color. Uh, H O P O O color.com. You can get the meters. Um, I think you might be able to order them from, from there or another place. Um, but it's, this meter is probably about from 1500 to $2,000 for this. Um, another meter you can get to measure flicker would be something like the, um, eSmog Spion. There's a 5G eSmog Spion and it's got a sound setting on it. And uh, let's see. So this this one's more user friendly and more affordable, about five hundred dollars, I think. Um, but you just turn it on. Actually, looks like I'm out of battery. I'll have to replace this. <laughs> no problem. I've got, I've got another older model here that I can use. And let's see. So that's measuring the flicker above me. And you can hear how when I turn that on, it, it kind of goes away. I test this and I go down here. If I turn the jovial light off, the flicker comes back. We do hear very well the difference. And then outside you got nothing. In here you've got a lot without the lamp. But then with this on, you've got nothing. And that's because of the overhead lighting that you have, right? And that room yeah. is flickering. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Wow. Okay, so so basically it, it will smooth out the flicker and it will also smooth out the, the spectrum or at least, you know, add a big part of the spectrum that was missing from regular lighting, including, of course, the screens that are not balanced at all, provide a, a ton of blue light. So that's that's great. And also you, you told me, you know, the choice of the gold is is really also when it comes to color therapy there are specific benefits of seeing certain colors right on the mood for example and i imagine it's something that you know just in montreal every winter i kind of forget about it but my my uh my my younger brother uh marco is always like 
almost depressed in November, but he knows about it. He knows that he has like the winter blues when the when we have like winter starting to install itself or in the in the late fall and he uses you know therapy lamps but this is a little bit different but this could probably help also with the mood in winter season right yeah totally it's you know it's kind of like a sad therapy lamp but it's got the infrared with it and it's yeah. really great. uh with sad therapy they typically will test you know they've tested in studies i, I believe because they've come up with this 10,000 lux number Um, and they say, okay, you need 10,000 lux for, I don't even know how many minutes, like two minutes, five minutes, something like that. Just bright light, just right on your face. Um, that's great, but really how many of us can, can't afford to go outside for two minutes and get the 10,000 lux from the sun. And then during the day, what are you doing to continual, continually get the spectrums that are missing from your indoor environment? And that's what I created the Jovial lamp for is like, yeah, it'll give you really bright light, but it also sends the signal to your brain that, Hey, it's, it's, uh, the, the sun's out. This is the hue, this, it boosts your mood and it, it gives you like a constant source of infrared and red light, uh, that's not going to disrupt like the environment as far as like, okay, it's creating a weird color spectrum in here. No, you can still see what the colors are of everything. And, uh, Actually, now it's less expensive than, than the sauna space light that we've been recommending. So And that's for true. Daytime, yep. For daytime, it's, it's a really awesome solution. And it's fully shielded from electric fields, which is the other thing. So like this one, you can see that there's no electric field really around this at all compared to, gosh, do I have anything? <laughs> do you have Even just a wall? Yeah, here. we do hear it. So that's so, just a uh, standard household wiring versus a lamp that is uh, completely shielded and grounded. And uh, most lamps are unshielded and ungrounded, correct? That's right. Yeah. And, uh, and then you can use the base with this or you can use like this clamp that comes with it. So you can clamp it to your standing desk. That's exactly the one I'll need, but I, I'm, you know, I appreciate the red lamp, but I just feel like this one has a different feel to it. And it's also, it would be more practical because the sauna space is a bit awkward on my office space. It's not ideal. Like it takes up a lot of space, but the jovial would be more, um, um, you know, more practical for me. So I'll just put myself back there. We have a special, Um, we have a special deal for circle members that I did not expect. Thank you, Brian, for set up, set up being something special for our members for one week only circle jovial is, uh, the coupon and you can check it out on uh, the website there. So we, uh, normally it's not something that's available at that, at that price. So, you know, it might make the barrier to entry a little bit lower. Um, and I'll cut this part down from the preview. This is exclusive to circle members guys. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep it in, in the replay, of course. So thank you for this demo, Brian. It's always, uh, I, I, I learned something new every time and I did not expect the, the jovial lamp to make that much of a difference when it comes to flicker, uh, somehow, but I, I, I kind of understand the, you know, yeah. the, the, the logic to it. Michael said, couldn't have chosen a better name than jovial. Yeah, I, uh, I I agree. That's kind of how I want to feel when I work like Jovial. And you could, yeah. if you could see what kind of songs I listen to, you know, I listen to like old rap that no one cares about. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> old Quebec songs from the 80s that are super cheesy. I'm, I'm like a, a weird music guy, but I want to feel Jovial when I work on EMS. Maybe because the satellite thing is so daunting that if I don't compensate with happy songs and the Jovial lamp, I just feel down. So hopefully it's going to make my environment even, you know, more Jovial. So <laughs> I'm excited yeah. about that. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. You know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these 
or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record, is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did. And we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit EMF circle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.